The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Topics like cars, registration, division, process, and what happens when you get pulled over by Mr. What? Policeman, policewoman, what do we do? Now let's understand something. My name is Ray, last name is Reynolds. My ultimate goal is to repackage your whole life if you allow me to. All right, getting million to billion, I did it, so could you. Bottom line is, guess what? Tablet and pen, so we can begin. Now, the next thing is there's no pictures, there's no recording. If you make things habit formed by writing it down, your brain will record it. That's the most important thing, understand habit forming. I want you to learn things you didn't learn before. It seems like the world doesn't really want to teach you anyway. Let's play. Now, I like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and helicopters, and mansions, and money. You see, money did one thing for me. All right, it took all that stress off my back. The reality is money didn't make me happy. And the difference is I had to find a way to make that happen too. This is money. You see a $5 bill. What do I see? Getting the stress off my back. And that was the ultimate goal. See, money, it's gonna solve some problems. But we're gonna have to find peace of mind as well. Now I'm online currently six days a week. Now it's not so easy. I got born in a taxi on the way to Guardian Hospital. She didn't want me. She told me if I was a girl, she wanted to keep me. Well, I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. Now, guess what? I got to be Mrs. Hope, the she-devil from hell. The bottom line, all she wanted to do is use and abuse me, too. So let's understand. Your journey to get today begins with me. I want you to think about some things. I got a couple of problems. We all do. And this sixth grade, they told me I was retarded because I ride with both hands and talk at the same time. They did realize I have total recall and an IQ over 200. So let's understand how to play the game and let's win. Now, the next thing I want you to do is draw that diagram in front of you. I want you to think about where you live today, the city and the state. Think about looking at banks, grocery stores, cities. See, what happens is like Bank of America, three weeks ago, they came off the new publication and they're shutting down thousands of locations. What do they do? Their parent company, all right, owns these branches, the branches, so what do they do? They sign a 100-year lease. And the reality is they make a decision, they shut it down, they bankrupt it. They take all the money and all the goodies and they write it off on their taxes as a bad debt. You see, that's what happens. Well, you didn't do that. You brought the pain home for you and your family. Sorry to say, you shouldn't have done that in the first place. So let's teach you how to play from anywhere from Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, or even U.S. Bank. How about Sam's Club? They shut down locations as well, 1,501 so far. Geico, cities. So let's understand, you as a consumer, because of your lack of knowledge, you bring the pain home, which you never had to in the first place. You didn't learn how to play the game. When I wrote winning the game of business 45 years ago. So we're gonna teach you how to play. Is that okay? You have the tablet and pen ready to begin? Now, the other problem I have is I rhyme all the time too. Sorry to say, but it happens out of my what? Because both sides kind of work. Write down, stop bringing the pain home. You should have never done that in the first place. Next, I want you to become a certified CFO. I want you to get through my process as I re-coach you in the right way. The next thing is program yourself to millionaire star status. So let's play. What I had to do when I was a little kid, Mrs. Hope would drop me off Redonda Beach Pier every morning at 6.30 in the morning from the age of three to basically nine and a half years old. I ran over to the light. You have a trash can and kind of sucks. She was a she-devil from hell. So what did I do? I looked at Marina Del Rey. I saw money. I looked at Torrance Rocks. I looked at Palace Verdes and Rat Beach. Yeah, that's right. It's called Rat Beach. I saw they got money. I wanted mine too. I've been studying rich and famous people since I can actually walk. 
So understand, two and a half years old, I taught myself how to read and memorize the words. So we're going to play my way. Is that okay? All right, I think your way, sorry, don't take it personally. I think it sucks. So let's do this. Why don't you get out your personal credit cards or your personal wallet right now? Let's understand your biggest problem you have with you is your credit score, knowing how to keep it 750 and more. See, I'm the guy that trained Ken Yarborough. He was security chief at Tier W. They became a spirit. We take our cards today. If you don't basically understand, write down and put a sticky there. We maintain the 25% always, never past 29%. What do we do? We put the limit there too. What is this going to do for you? It's going to balance your debt. You're going to create a line of defense. You see, in this world today, we have to realize everybody wants to knock you down and take it away. What we have to understand is so we have our line of defense. What would that do on these cards here? It would leave basically $71,000 of safety credit. The next thing we get to play, maintaining a 750 score forever. So let's understand what I just said. These cards, you don't go past 29%. These two cards, gold and platinum cards, they have no what? We got basically one thing. They don't fluctuate credit score at all. So what do we get to do? We can max them out to a million dollars. When would you pay them a payment every month? So we could actually balance our score to 750 more. See, T or W, the reports rock. All right, Thomas Raymond Woolworths. They made bicycle parts, got information business. And what did they do next? Simple. In 96, a spear and bottom out. So when I drew the first diagram that looked like this, it's very simple. It was good, fair, or hell no, using these right cards the right way and understanding how to maintain a 750 score, if not more. So I understand. They gave me this vote, and I got this award. It says, basically, I'm voted all right, the number one building millionaires in the United States. We could have fun if you'd like me to rebuild you. Let me coach you every step of the way. Let's take this millionaire building call. What would happen with you and me? Simple. You get out your tablet and pen, you and I are going to play. And we can be a phone call or basically a Zoom. I'm going to blueprint your life. We're going to talk about past, present, and future. See, I'm going to get you to a million to five million if you allow me to, and I'll even guarantee it. So past, present, or future. Past is good, bad, and ugly. Present situation, do you have a corporation? Do you have 26 divisions? And your future, what do you want it to be? Your future should be about $100,000 a month coming in automatically. And that's where you kind of made your mistake. Most of you did. So let's understand. Family, we got to make sure we protect the family. I didn't get a family until I got married and have basically six kids and 10 grandkids. I didn't get a mommy and a daddy and a family like most of you. So I want to protect my family no matter what I say and do. Next thing is understand corporation structure and the division process, at least 26 of those. So guess what? Irrevocable trust. See, we have to plan to live. We have to plan to die. And that's the ultimate goal. We have to enjoy life, too. As we plan this game, let's understand the car. Why would you have a car, all right, in your name in the first place? I know when you look at TikTok, Google, and YouTube, these people go, well, you can always ride off the car. That's not the point. Riding off a car for business purposes, okay, I'll give you that. The problem in a bumpity bump, they sue the registered owner, which is you. That's kind of silly and dumb, by the way. We're going to explain that to you a little bit more today. So the bottom line is the car is going to be a division process in the future. Got it? The next thing is house. If your house is not in a trust, when they sue you, they take it away. And when you're dead, it gets stuck in a probate. Your family got diddly squat. So the next time you buy a house, it's going to be through a trust. Now, now, I did one thing for me when I was basically 17 and a half years old. I was going to auctions and having fun. I had 19 houses. All right, what did I do? They told me I couldn't get number 20. So I transferred my properties in my division process. Freed up my loan to value problem, got more of those too. And then I wanted to become the bank. That's what was my goal. And I did that too. I was getting that thousand dollars a month that I needed. See, when I was 17 and a half, my bill bills were a thousand dollars a month. I knew if I got a thousand a month, then a two thousand and three thousand, I built it up, up and away. And that's what I did. So I don't understand why most of you, I'm sorry to say, didn't build residual income. All right, up to a hundred thousand a month. So that way you have it coming in the rest of your life. Let me show you that to you today. So residual income. Now, the next thing is cash flow for you per time. It's in my book, 45 years ago, you know, winning the game of business. Page six, paragraph three. 
It's very simple. We get to play the game. We get to win. So let's understand. I'd like you to write down two things right now. Remember that tablet of pen is to work it. So let's write it down. Number one, do you want to enhance your paycheck or would you like to replace it? Which one would you like me to help you do? You let me know. From there, I want you to get your hands dirty. That means very simple. Every time someone talks to you about coaching or talks about this or that and all that blah, 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 you see in TikTok, Google, and YouTube, if the person talking to you is not the same one helping you from the middle, the beginning to the end, I think it's a bunch of BS in my opinion. Sorry to say. I want you stuck with me. Then I want you to write down what about me. Write down what about me. Your focus, you're here today to watch me to explain what you can do for you. You are the most important thing. So what about you? What about me? I need you to focus on that. The next thing is I want to certify you as a CFO. I'm going to build you a million dollars of corporate credit because you're not winning the lottery. You're not getting a big enough raise. So I want to show you how to get corporate credit, write it all off, and I'll do the work for you using my dashboards too. $53 million of credit cards. I get to use history for you and lines of credit as well. So what do we get to do? All credit to the corporation under tax ID is a write-off. To me, it's like free money, but what you get to do is basically maintain the payment and then write it all off. Because once again, you're not winning the lottery getting a big enough raise. So let's focus on a corporation today. It's right there. It's a legal person. I heard that when I was seven and a half years old. I was lucky to listen and pay attention at the Hope Family House. They had a poker game every Wednesday night. And I wrote it down. They told me it was weird. Probably true. Now, what did I do? I wrote it down and went down to the library next door, next to the Torrance Police Department. Next door to the library, I went, ma'am, what does this mean? She was kind of rude. She walked away. Five minutes later, here's a mug of his. Here's a book. I read the book. So you've been reading the book, too. Your problem is you didn't create a blueprint. All right, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about today. The bottom line is how to play the game and win. The next problem, if you have a corporation, you didn't pay attention, then not only is it a legal person, but it may sue or be sued. It's right there. And I didn't pay attention to that, and I got my assets kicked a little bit when I was 12 and a half years old. Now, my corporation, when I sent away a money order for $10 after going to the library for two years when I was nine and a half, we came back Helping Hand Industries. You can see it on Secretary of State's website. So the reality is what happened next is freaked us all out. I got $100,000 credit cards in the mail. What the? See, in the 70s and 80s, people got credit cards in the mail for a corporation or a person without applying for credit. The ultimate goal, I got named in the movie Dave as well. Now, the next thing at 12 and a half years old, I started the Orange County Blind Center. It freaked me out. I got named in a lawsuit. What? I used the word Braille. I said, we want to teach the art of Braille at the Orange County Blind Center. My little friends, I wanted to do. So I had to learn how to master trade name, trademarks, and copyrights. I'll help and coach you through that process too if you want. Next thing is never bring the pain home. Can you write it down for me today? I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about today as well. So let's understand today. When I was a little boy, all the grown ups kept saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I asked what that meant. And all I got back is and about it. I'm sorry, but I thought all the grown ups when I was a little kid were stupid. See, right now, a corporation, all right, when they get sued, they sue you. And if they give it service to their registered agent, they're going to sue you anyway, and you're going to find yourself in court. Wow! That means you'll be a duck and a sheep. So the goal is, how about we create division process so we have a backup for a backup? Because right now, everybody keeps bringing the pain home, and they tend to have a lot of shitty credit, sorry to say. So let's understand. Let's put our ducks in a row and never bring the pain home. Is that okay? The next thing is about a list. Uh, guess what happens? When you go shopping or you do something, all right, basically you want to make a list of what you're going to do, what are you going to do? You have to have a list. About this list, I think people get stuck. So I like to create a goal list for you, all right, through the coaching process, and then all the steps. See, every goal you have has activity sheet. You're going to have to do some work and get to the American dream. Daily list, weekly list, and then the project list. Helping people get a franchise. That's been fun, too. You see, I wrote the book basically on franchises. I wrote it on laundromats, dry clean, and my 22,000 payphones I had years ago, too. And having fun, even my car washes as well. I like to do money on something I have to really work at. See, when you work your company, you're an employee for yourself. When you work a job, same thing. But if you're an investor and you own it, basically what you can do 
you can create residual income too. We can have fun. So let's think about this foolproof program that I developed for me, creating 2.6 billion at 26. You ready to play? So let's understand today. If we look at this very simple, like the United States of America Incorporated, I don't think you took the time to look at how it's put together. So let's do it for a couple minutes, okay? We're going to look at an SS5 form that creates SSN, and that created the 1040 tax return. And what happened is people aren't supposed to use their credit for credit purposes. Anyway, the social security number, but they did. A bunch of dummies did that too. So let's understand. If you got your social security card at 14 to 16, that was before Nixon took the gold standard out in 71. If you were born 71 on, that means mommy did it for you. So we have to understand you have one number. You're allowing that one number to control you and screw you up. That's your own fault. Sorry, you need to look behind the curtain. So we the people, and we get an SSN. The next thing we have to do is compare it to the SS4. So here's SS5, SS4. Can you put your hands like this, please? Here's tax, 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 probate when we're dead. Then they reach in the grave and take that too. And the time of death at the hospital happens for the state and federal government, by the way. So no one moves your stuff because you're dead. You can't take it with you. The SS4 means you don't have to pay tax to your profitable. So now if you're a crook, you don't file tax returns, just go to prison, just like Wesley Snipes did. He went to prison for three years and fined five million bucks, listened to his idiot attorneys and CPAs in Beverly Hills, California, he ruined his life and his career ultimate goal. So the next thing, let's understand. Please write down irs.gov. All right, we have to learn to play with the IRS. we got to go by the rules and tools. Write down 1244. This allows you to file one tax return with your corporation and almost not pay any tax at all until you get to the millions of dollars too. Simple. The goal is until you're in the profit zone. As we play, the United States of America Incorporated, they took 50 corporations, called them states, state got corporations called cities. They created Chapter 9 bankruptcy in the Federal Protection Act. In case they have an old shit day, sorry to say it that way, but it's true, you didn't play the game. That's why you brought the pain home. It's we, the people, corporations, a legal person, and we can learn to play to stop bringing the pain home. Got it so far? Now, I'd like you to write down the vision of me. So I want to show you exactly how I protect my assets and my family. Then I finally got one too. S is for line one right there. It says legal name of entity or individual person. I can put your name there, your corporation, your division or your subsidiary right there. I can build your corporate umbrella up to a million dollars if you do what I tell you to do and I coach you through the process every step of the way. Now, the next thing we have to think about is a car. For instance, my favorite car is a Lamborghini. My second car I ever bought as a kid was a Lamborghini Quintosh. Here's a Lamborghini worth a million dollars. Here's the keys. All right, the payment is $6,800 a month when I obtain this one. Now, if I buy it through me and I can't pay it, the bottom lines are going to take it away and report it to the credit bureaus, and I'll have shitty credit. And from there, they'll also give me a 1099C from the IRS, so I'll have double shitty credit. But I'm not a stupid person, so I'm not going to do it that way. Now, understand, I got my shopping centers. I got my real estate. I got my properties. I got this. I got my car washes. I got all this thing making money, 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 money. But I got one problem. If I, this was my problem, what am I going to do? I'm going to do the three-step I invented. Write it down, disconnect, isolate, incorporate. I'm going to take that one piece, put it over here under the Federal Protection Act. If I can't save within six months, I'm going to bankrupt the hell out of it and throw it away. Your problem is you need to turn these up and understand you allowed yourself to be one, and that's a lonely number. That is not acceptable anymore. I'm going to coach you through the process. You don't do that ever again, okay? The next time you sign a lease of a building, it's a division, not you. From there, what do we look at? Every property you get, you got a problem. You don't know which one's going to slip and fall and try to sue you and screw you up. So again, division process. From there, when you receive money, SS4, no tax to do till we're profitable. Don't worry about if you have a corp or not. I'll show you through that process through my setup in level one class that I do twice a week live anyway. Now, daisy chaining of credit. This is unlimited up to $1 million. Under the Fair Lending Act, there's 12 acts to look at. It allows you 99 more cards. See, you don't have to worry about winning the lottery, getting a raise. Now we can get that corporate credit, write it all off, and finance the American dream. And make sure you accomplish the goal you've been trying to do all your life anyway as we play this game. You ready to play some more? 
If you have a corporation today, check it out on Secretary of State's website. Find your name, find your corp, and hopefully you didn't use your home address, please. If you did, you need to change that. Sorry, that was silly and dumb. You added yourself to the national mailing list and the robocall list too. The ultimate goes to put your ducks in a row. When they sue that corp, they sue you. And that's kind of silly and dumb too. So we're going to set up a line of defense for you. We're going to get you to the point you understand how every Bank of America filed bankruptcy in locations they didn't want Chase, U.S. Bank, and grocery stores and cities to. And they don't bring the pain home like you. It's about time you learn about your line of defense. Now, these goodies I obtained, just a couple of goodies to show you exactly too. But you don't get kind of goodies like this till you get about $5 million, okay? As we play the game, I like to make you a corporate millionaire. As we play this game, we're going to win. Now, when I add you to my credit system, I'm allowed to set up credit reports instantly under the tax ID. That can help you get past go as well. So let's understand, you don't have your time. I believe your time has you. And time is something you can't buy and you can't replace anyway. As we play this game, let's understand today. You're getting older, slower. You're not as pretty as you used to be. The lack of knowledge is the stupidity of men and women. And we're not stupid people. Half the people in this world are lazy. They don't deserve it anyway. The other ones, let's go get it. But understand today, if we file a corporation of divisions now, or right, before the year is over, guess what happens come January? It'll be on its second calendar year. That helps us get a line of credit up to $250,000 of credit. That's called checkbook money. So let's understand about flippity dippity doos on real estate. Remember, I had my 19 houses at 17 and a half, and I found out every buyer is a liar, the agents, the brokers, and the agents too. And then from there, the contractor, the hires the subcontractor that stands outside Home Depot. They're all trying to steal my money. Well, that kind of sucks. So what I did at 21 years old, I got tired of that. I decided to become the bank. See, I'm sorry, but your problem, all of you, you did not build what I call monthly money commitment or residual income. This is where you screwed up. All of you did. Sorry to say, but it's true. When you sold a car all right, in your life, you could have sold it and been the bank to receive the money to pay the bank you had already set up. When you sold a house, you could have did the same thing. You blew so many opportunities you never had to blow in the first place, but your problem is you didn't know how to play. But the reality is you weren't desperate enough like me. I wanted out of hell as a kid. So let's understand. Let's take an example of an apartment complex. Let's dissect it into pieces. Let's become the bank. Let's do an assignment of mortgage. In my real estate system, I created, you know, homestead block that you see someone in child mortgage. All right. When you have billions in real estate, you got to protect your assets too. How about the financial system? Become the bank, buckets of money and tax balancing. How about the assignment of an asset? See, you can learn to play. I can make every one of you a money-making machine if you just do what I ask you to do. Sorry, I'm probably going to give you an assignment and tell you what to do as I coach you through the process. Once again, you don't get goodies like this until when? About $5 million. God's gift, the mansions in the harbor. How about houses on every island, too? How about we got race boats and yachts? I've got my name on them as well. The Ray Reynolds University. I wanted to just prove to myself I got my trophy or my Duffy. How about the mansions? How about the big buildings and the Lamborghinis, too? See, I got no BS to give you besides I can get to the million to billion if you allow me to. I like Lamborghinis. Can you tell that yet? So let's understand even the helicopters, too. Wow, guess what? Every time I hear some idiot say white man can't jump, I don't understand that. I broke the record in 81, fastest kick and highest kick on planet Earth. You ever heard of that? So guess what? White men do jump to stupid people say we don't. I kicked out the lights that night. No matter where you come from, you can accomplish your goal if you put your mind to it too. So let's understand the word no. People say no because they don't know how to say yes. And they don't know what they're really doing anyway. So when they hear no, say thank you. Have a nice day. And then what we're going to do is get out their millionaire's founder's kit. I broke it down into a blueprint. You can't even screw it up, okay? As long as you follow through. And I sold it at the Bonaventure, Los Angeles, for 32 years, 5,000 a set. You ready to play? So draw that diagram again. What is it? Bank of America's bankrupt 5,000 locations plus Chase, U.S. Bank, U.S. All right, Wells Fargo, Sam's Club. So they bankrupt locations because it's a branch number with a different tax ID, and then they write off on their taxes while the consumer's going, what? 
screwing up. No, thank you. So I need you to listen and turn these up today. And I want you to make sure you know how to get past go. So let's play the game. What is our first goal? Stop bringing the damn pain home. All right, become a certified CFO through Ray Reynolds coaching program. Next thing is reprogram our brain into millionaire status. And what did I do at nine and a half years old? I created my first blueprint. I call it, see it, believe it, go get it. Maybe you write it down for you too. So let's take your corporation you have today. If not, I'll hand you one for free. I've done that for 45 years. You will pay your filing fee. All right, we'll build a corporate umbrella. You will stop bringing the pain home. You will put your ducks in a row and I'll repackage your life my way because I think your way, sorry, sucks. We're going to get you to millionaire and I'll guarantee that too. Now, I've been helping rich and famous people for years, even a couple of presidents of the United States of America Incorporated. What did you do? Simple. You had a kitchen table meeting with your friends and family. We're going to start a business, honey. And most of you jacked up your cards, you dropped your score, you got stuck. Hell, you couldn't get any more. You couldn't write out diddly squat. And then you hocked your house. I'm sorry, I call that stupid. And you're not stupid. You just did stupid. That's not acceptable. From now on, we're going to teach you how to play the right way. Is that okay? As we play right down today's day, project 90 working days. See, during that 90 days, you're going to fall down a thousand times. You're going to win 10. Is that okay? That's how it works. So when I wrote Winning the Game of Business 45 years ago, 8-6, paragraph 3, cash flow free up your time. Now, I had a problem 14 and a half years ago. We took out one of my yachts in my backyard. I got three yachts at the time worth millions and billions of dollars, helping people all the time. My wife wants to take out the yacht to show the fireworks on July 4th. Next day, I'm in a coma. She tells everybody at the office he's in a coma. They say he's going to die. Ron's over, you one technology driver on Spectrum, stealing my books with the U-Haul truck. Tom, selling my websites and my phone numbers to a porn site. Never call the phone number on the CDs, please. See, the people around you, you got to be careful with. You've allowed a friend and family member to rip you off. You know you did. So do I. So let's look at that SS5 form you didn't pay attention to as a kid. Let's compare SS5 to SS4 right in front of you. See, your Bank of America, your Chase, your grocery stores, your cities, they have branch numbers, separate tax IDs. So what we have to understand is line one right there in front of you, right in front of you right now, says legal name of entity or individual person. So let's get you to pay attention today. The next thing is if you pay and tear it apart some more too, you'll see where it says banking and credit purposes. Banking and credit purposes. That's per entity, by the way. And I designed and invented division process in 85, 86. So your corporations allow four things under raise rules. Number one, we buffer tax. No tax is due to we're profitable. Number two, we take all the corporate credit. We get to write it all off anyway. It's kind of like free money. We just maintain the payment. Every car is a fleet price. And we get the hotel. We get the free buffet. Your divisions are what you're going to do. Now write these down. This is where I don't want you to screw up anymore. When you bring the pain home, it's because you're lacking knowledge how to play. Your division that I created for me and then for you is a line of defense. They're cheap, multiple functions, buy at wholesale price, multiple credit reports, and separate liability for real estate. A division is your line of defense because there's always some turd trying to knock you down and take it away. Come on, you know this. I'm going to take the tax IDs and build credit reports and build you cash credit to a million dollars. Is that okay? If you allow me to do that for you too, but let me know. So here's the 750. All right. If that's what you want. I got the hundred million dollar building, the Lamborghini million dollar car, one of the five million dollar mansions right in front of you and one of the million dollar race boats. Now I obtained these. Why haven't you? Are these turned up today? You ready to play yet? I want to analyze your credit. I want to do a rapid rescore because understand Ray Reynolds, all right, DR Reynolds, which is me. I invented rapid score and rapid refresh 39 years ago, basically with Ken Yarbrough and Harold Stokes. That's why your mortgage companies have these in the first place. So I can push your score up, 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 and away and create a bunch of green lights in about three days for you. If as long as you do what I ask you to do, please. The next thing is let's understand. Every one of you on the national mailing list, you did it to yourself. You're on the robocall list. I mean, do you even answer your phone anymore unless you recognize the number? So understand they sell the mailing list, all right, as a voter 412 times a year. 
Maybe you have a cable bill. Maybe you have what? Corporation. If you want today, you can call 888-567-8688. You can opt out for five years or a lifetime to get off the national mailing list. Phone number is right in front of you. The next thing as we play this game, we want to win, right? So let's play. Your biggest problem you didn't do is plan the problem. I'm sorry to say you let a friend and family member rip you off. You've been spending thousands on crap that didn't work. Why didn't you create $100,000 a month of money coming in? I got to the point I got a million dollars a friggin' day. What is wrong with you people? Turn these up. So you got to realize safety credit, sticky, line of defense, rules and tools. Every dashboard today says exactly what I designed for TRW became experience. Zero to 29 is green, 30 is yellow, 50 is red. There's the discipline you've been lacking in since day one. Now, if you do that on all these cards, but the two, what are we going to do? We're going to make sure we understand that these two cards do not fluctuate ever. And we can max the suckers out if we had to. As long as we maintain the payment, our score doesn't go below 750 ever again. Rules and tools. Make sure you pay attention today. Next thing is you lose your job, have an emergency. What do you do? Simple. You run out of time, you run out of money, and then you go jack up your cards and tell the world to feel sorry for you. I don't think anybody cares. The next say you needed $5,000 today. Now, now, now. Go ask your friends, your family, your bank. You said you needed. The answer is no then. Here's five, you know, 5,000 a card. The payment is $50 a month if I max it out. The average person wastes $50 every other day. They say you waste 140 a week. That's 600 a month. If I take $50,000 off this corporate credit card, write it all off interest rate too, I'm going to actually take that money. I can go buy two pizza pizza restaurants with a damn drive through using some common sense during a drive through and during a pandemic. See, that's called residual income. Remember, white men do jump, just stupid people say we don't. Next, I want you to remember Nixon took the gold standard out in 71. What does that mean for you? Please write it down. Raise rules. Write it down. I'm willing to sacrifice a division, not my corporation, my family. All right, I have no intent to do fraud. Did you write it down? That will be a corporate resolution in your basically your stock kit because I need you to have basically what it seems to be the truth, your intent as we play this game. The next thing is I want you to have your cake you need it too. The ultimate goal. It's raise rules. Very simple. As we play this game, you become a certified CFO and you never bring the pain home. Ultimate goal. That's what I want to coach you and do every step of the way. Now, here I'm dead in a coma. There's my home address at the time. You can find it. I'm telling you the truth with all the goodies, too. But again, it's going to help you to follow through. Next, I got to be in two comas in my life so far. Five and a half, I was crippled for life. Jesus said, get up. I got up and freaked them all out. Last one, I got to die and come back and help you. From there, the devil's trying to hold us back and knock us down. But the goal is simple. God's delays aren't God's denials. So if you let me repackage you and coach you and basically rebuild you my way, I can guarantee I get you to million to billion if you want me to. But it's going to be up to you as we play this game. I'd like you to focus on basically receiving residual monthly money coming in. See, I think, I'm sorry to say, you all blew it, all right? Basically, what happens is you didn't create money coming in on a monthly base. This should be $45,000 to $100,000 per month easily. But again, what you have is you have a three months coaching program, you have a six months, and you have a 12 months. I'm going to be your coach from beginning, middle, and end. You don't get past anybody else but me. And then I'm going to build you up, up, and away. You got it so far? The ultimate goal. Next year, your goal should be $5 million, all right, in business, because IRS says $5 million below a small business as we play. Let me rebuild you, all right, into a millionaire corporation, raise private coaching program. You got a phone number. You can talk to a specialist, 800-254-9506. What is a corporation again? It's a legal person. It may sue or be sued. Chapter 18. So a division is your line of defense. Let's understand, when I had my Shakey's Pizza, my 31 flavor ice cream, my donut chain, and my satellite stores, and my tires, and my bowls, and my cars, and my trucks, and all the other pieces of business, and my shopping centers, and all this stuff, because I've done it since I was a kid. Well, I got a problem with a piece. What do I get to do? Disconnect, isolate, incorporate. I get to take that piece and put it over here. 
I don't allow myself to be one like you. One sucks because it brings the pain home. You have a tenant that slips and falls, wants to sue you and screw you up. Division process, cash, credit, supply, credit. I need you to get in your head and understand, all right, if there's a problem, a division, you will sacrifice. You will never hurt the corp and your family ever again. That's what I want you to focus on. Because I'm an affiliate, I'm allowed to build credit files under tax IDs. Instantly, credit reports for you. Sperian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And then I can line you up for checkbook money as well. We'll explain that as we go along today too. So every division is an entity. Every entity is a tax ID. So this means in my book called Buckets of Money, it shows you my first matrix I ever did was 190,000 a month. Is that enough money to play the rest of your life until you're dead? But again, it's gonna be up to you to pay attention. Corporations, a legal person, find yours. Make sure you didn't use your home address. Because right now when they sue that corp, they sue you, kind of sucks. Lot of defense, okay? As we play this game, I even invented daisy chaining of credit. One card, let's get nine more. Their one card alone is a million dollars now. How about we get checkbook money? And we get $2.5 million. We play the game, we get to win. Now, I wrote a book, another one too. I've written over 50 books so far. 89 ways how to use the division, all right, process that I invented in 85, 86. So you're going to need about 26 divisions as a basic, getting nine for profit corp, nine for nonprofit, three divisions of me, and five closet divisions. Because I need you to have the structure to do five million next year. I like goodies. You like goodies yet? Again, I got to ride with Neil Diamond a couple of times in the love ride too. And again, don't get these kind of goodies till you hit five million dollars. The goal should be a million dollars of credit cards, five million of checkbook money. The ultimate goal is to rebuild you here as I coach you through the process. And then we're going to get the green unlimited for 100,000. And then the two sisters for 30. That's 160 times nine. Is that a million yet? How about the blue card, B of A, nine times nine? Wells Fargo times nine. How about eight times nine? How about gold times nine? How about we get up to $5 million of corporate credit and we get nine locations of franchises or something or storage units or real estate too? And then we look at that checkbook money. What are they going to give us? Up to $250,000 as long as you have a two-year corp or two-year division. That's why they have to be filed now, now, now. Unsecured, by the way. Here's my five favorite ones. Would you like a line of credit checkbook money today too so that you can get your residual income started right away? But it'll be up to you to follow through. See, buy your car. Your next one. I mean, come on. Right now, you're driving a car registered to you. Okay, I don't get that. You can ride it off. That's not the point. The point is when they pull you over and you get in a bumpity bump. All right. Next car bought under the division process and why your car registration should not be in your name. Let's understand. This is a car one of our CFOs drives. Fleet price, tax ID, division. What do we get to do? All right, doesn't show up on personal credit reports ever. We don't have to worry about gap insurance crap and we get to write it all off. Isn't that the goal? The next thing is as we play, let's understand your paycheck is what taxable income? You get the leftover and you're paying car payment, gas registration insurance. That's called silly and no. You should be driving a company car like I do. Wouldn't that be the ultimate goal? So getting your dream car. Pay tax, buy a Lamborghini kind of thing. So we learn to play. So let's understand today. You're in the grocery store and you get in a bump and you bump. <laughs> get the police there. You need to report because they're going to lie after the bump and you bump. The stories always change. The next thing what happens is driver's license, insurance, registration, please. The next thing what's going to happen is understand your corporation that you should have. Don't use your home address as we play this game. All right, the bottom line is that attorney you see on TV and the ones in social media, I call them blood suckers because that's what I think they do. Again, Ray's rules are simple. Registered owner is a division of a corporation. Why? Because if they sue the registered owner, it's not you. And the reality is they're going to get diddly squat. Don't you want to protect your family and your future too? But that's up to you. You never bring the damn pain home. Let's pretend today you're driving down the street. You get pulled over. I mean, this is the silliest thing I watch people do. 
Okay, driver's license, insurance registration, please. You really give your home address to a stranger? I don't get it. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't understand stupid. Okay, California, they allow, you know, peel box. But your insurance, your registration, everything in your life, you just gave to a stranger, did a bump and a bump. And their story's going to change after you leave anyway, unless you get a police report. What the heck? I don't understand. P.O. Box mail and address, please understand. Rebecca was murdered at her front door. The Schaefer bill was created after that because the DMV sold her on her driver's license, her home address. I've had two clients murdered because of the DMV. Stop bringing the pain home, please. God rest their souls, too. So the ultimate goal, P.O. Box mail and address. All right, raise rules. I want to repackage your whole life and rebuild you and coach you every step of the way. See, the goal would be to get personal and business credit. What are we going to do? We're going to take the corporate credit. We're going to write it all off because borrow money is not taxable. You're going to buy your lifetime income from now on, and you're going to understand what residual income is all about anyway, up to 100000 a month. Get your cake and eat it too. Quit bringing the pain home. Call raise rules. Become a certified CFO. Your goal is to learn to play. Let's pretend today I wrote you a check for a million dollars. Okay. And the first thing you know, oh, by the hell is the car? Stop. See, that's a bunch of crap. Your problem is you're focusing on the wrong thing. That million dollar check, all right, should have been in, put into a division of a corporation. Reference three times five into 15 million. You put in your personal account, simple. You get to keep 375. That's all you get to keep. As we play this game, let's understand. You pay tax on the leftover. You're allowed to pay all the bills first and then pay tax on the leftover. No leftover, how much tax is due. You win the lottery today. You ask for the cash value. Well, goody, you already paid the tax. I'm going to tell you to put in a division of you. Your corporation tax attorney is going, what's that? You don't have a tax ID and a corporation in your name. The division of you allows you to put money in that corporation to tax ID. You're going to give it to the bank. You're going to ask to borrow against your own money. You're going to create debt. And what you're going to do is realize borrow money is not taxable. We're going to turn it into millions and billions. Is that okay if we play my way for a while? So remember, 11 cities filed bankruptcy before. You know, simple. The United States of America Incorporated. All right, corporations are states and cities. They created Chapter 9 bankruptcy. You could have played the same game, too, as long as you had no intent to do fraud. Look at bankruptcy today. It's very simple. SSN, SS4. Who wants to be the duck the next time? So let's understand today we want you to play. We want you to win. So let me add you to my credit system. I'll build you a million dollars of cash credit. As long as you go to class, you don't fall on your want, and you follow through. Beat your doubt, run your race. Please get out of my way or I repackage you. Then I coach you every step of the way. Getting past go. God's mansions in the harbor too. All right, race boats and yachts and helicopters and Lamborghinis too. I like goodies, don't you? When you buy a house and you put two people on the loan, I'm sorry, that loan to value for two people is kind of silly and dumb. But again, your car shouldn't even be yours. It should be a division. If you lose house and car, don't worry. They'll report it to the IRS and I have a 1099C and you'll have shitty credit. Sucks. So every property you get should be a division of a process. Which one's going to slip and fall? I don't know. My crystal ball doesn't work. Does yours? Your uh, house payment offset your income. Isn't that fun? Amazon I didn't pay any tax on the first 10 billion a trillion. Isn't that the ultimate goal? So what do we get to do? We get to play. See, there's no loophole. You're allowed to do what you're allowed to do. Okay? He bought Twitter in 24 hours using a line of credit for the whole world. The other banks hate him. He screwed up Twitter in less than two weeks. X marks the spot. What kind of crap is that? But he's got a spaceship. And he told the whole world to go F themselves last week. All right? I don't know about that guy. Do you? He's got a spaceship too. So the other guy. So if we want to join the club, we could actually win the battle too. Now, let's understand Apple. Apple was in bankruptcy in 96. They were a bankrupt company. They're out of business. They're gone. What are they going to do? 
Well, Mr. Bill Gates, who got indicted four times, all right, for being so smart, they said he was running Monopoly, kind of like the Google indictment right now, and maybe based on the Amazon one too. So we got to understand how to play. He wrote a check from a line of credit for $150 million and gave them the money and let them pay the bill. And because he says, I needed competition. If not, they're going to indict me again. So let's play under the corporation and structure the same way they do, if you want to play. Now, we have a problem when it comes to personal credit. Why? Because Equifax admitted they screwed up during the pandemic, and everybody got kind of screwed over. So let's play and understand we have to maintain that credit score and keep yourself out of trouble some more. So as we do this, understand, he said, everybody just go back to their bank to refinance a loan. That's $18,000. You're going to pay it? There's always some turd in the way. So what do we get to do? Run your life through a corporation in conjunction. It's going to be up to you knowing how to play the game. But again, you have to play. Let's pretend you have a house today. I hope you bought it through escrow closed homestead trust. If not, when they sue you, they take it away. And when you're dead, basically, your family gets stuck in the probate and they got dilly squat. If you hire a proper, you know, get a property to fix it up, the contractor you hire hires the subcontractor that stands outside Home Depot. Good workers. Guess what happens when they slip and fall? They want to sue you and take it all. See, the process is that property should be in a division process in the first place. So that basically what happens is if there's an issue, they get diddly squat. You see, you're going to understand why you need division process not to bring the pain home. And you might want to think of irrevocable trust, too. But that'll be up to you to learn how to play as I coach you every step of the way. So, again, if you don't file your tax returns, then you're a crook. All you have to do is just go to prison. Wesley Sipes did three years and five millions pro or five million dollar fine and then probation too. ruin his whole life. But again, you can't play people with the IRS making a mess. We got to understand how to play. Even Richard, he's pissed away the money from Survivor. Three and a half years in prison, 10 years probation, violated that too. So let's understand, every one of you, if you have the division process, will save up to 70% when you buy something through your corporation structure. The next thing is you don't pay a bill up to 90 days. We can leverage money to $15 million. Borrow money is not taxable. You can set up your line of defense, the ultimate goal. So let's play. Here's the Ray Reynolds University. All right, 2009, one technology drive, Irvine Spectrum, ultimate goal. And what do we get to do? Well, I went into a coma, came back, and it was all stolen. What am I going to do? Go home and go boo-hoo-hoo? Sorry, no, thank you. I took out my blueprint, see it, believe it, go get it. The ultimate goal. I took out my three divisions of me, my five closet divisions. Listen very carefully. And I built a million dollars of credit in six weeks, six weeks. The following year, I bought my wife for about another dream house. So let's understand something today. If you understand how to basically play the game, you get to win. But again, if you don't pay attention, that's up to you. So again, you have a thousand steps to Mainer. It's in the Mainer's Founders Kit, by the way. You don't have your time. Your time has you. So I like boring businesses. When I had my 22,000 pay phones, that was fun. All right, my laundromats, my dry cleaning, my properties, my buildings, and all this other stuff, because that's the ultimate goal. How do I get money coming in automatically and don't have to run the business? It's basically third-party management. So if I get you up to 100000 of credit, could you take 40000 please, put in an escrow, let's get a little dry, you know, laundromat or dry cleaner or something, piece of property. That way you get three to 10000 a month. If we did the $10,000, why don't you do up to $45,000? How about a two fifty, dollars up to $75,000 a month? Your problem is the way you do things. Let's look at this apartment complex here. They want $3 million. Okay, 10% down. Let's use the checkbook money. Let's get a new loan. Let's have a positive cash flow. There we go. So now we got $13,452, and you think you're done. You're not done. You see, the problem is one of those tenants can slip, fall, and sue you and screw you up and knock you over again. You didn't plan the problem. The goal is division process. So let's do this. Let's dissect it and let's reverse the liability. Do an assignment of mortgage. Wouldn't that be more sense? So now we have 76,800 a month. See, if you reverse the liability, they can't sue you, or but you can sue them. All right, the ultimate goal, you get to win. So if you want to get in some coaching process, there's a three months 
there's a six months and there's a 12 months program. You stuck with me from beginning to end, coaching every step of the way. Because I believe when you go to an expo, you're kind of like a deer in the headlight. Which one do I pick? I want to coach you to the point that you get where you want to go. So you're going to own it. You're not going to basically run it. Would that be okay? It's like when I get people in a storage unit. Those are fun. Very simple to do. All right. Even the three people that work for you don't work for you. They work through a service and you get to make the money, money, money up, up and away about 30,000 a month. That's residual income, by the way. How about a couple of dry cleaners? 63,000 a month. How about a basic laundromat? 33,000 a month. How about the opportunity that knocks on your door all the time? Up, up and away residual income too. How about a Wendy's? How about a Jack in a Box? How about some gas stations? How about when you see these empty, we can turn them into an opportunity? Again, remember, I want to take your goals and break them down into pieces and make sure we have an activity sheet. I want to give you daily, weekly, and project list. I'm going to be the one coaching you every step of the way from beginning to end. You have a three months, six months, and a 12-month program. Your goal next year should be $5 million. Again, your three months get you lined up. Six months should get you your first unit. 12 months should get you multiple units through the division process. Again, let me rebuild your life into a millionaire corporation. Raise private coaching. It's very simple. It's 800-254-9506. What's a corporation? It's a legal person. Division is my line of defense. In case you screw up one or two, you have no intent to do fraud. What are you willing to do? Sacrifice the division, not the corp and the family. Every division allows you to multiply the credit. That's why in my first matrix, it was 190000 a month. It's in my book called Buckets of Money. You can learn to play. What are you willing to lose? I mean, come on. As a kid, I ate out of a trash can. I got used and abused, and it sucked. All right? The bottom line is I finally got a wife and six kids and 10 grandkids. I'm not bringing my pain home ever, ever. I'd rather shoot myself in the foot. Corporation, they sue, they sue you. That kind of sucks. A division gives you the line of defense so everybody gets checkmate. You might want to learn the division process from the guy who invented it too, which happens to be me. So we can learn to play and win the game of business. See, I like corporations. I love cars, Lamborghinis, and big buildings. How about we reach the dream? We think to be the impossible. And I coach you every step of the way how to do corpse divisions. And I build you up to a million dollars of credit. And I certify you as a certified CFO. Would that be okay if I rebuild your life my way for a while? Again, there it is. Bank of America, bankrupt 6,000 locations now. Chase Bank, U.S. Bank, grocery store, cities, and some guy code, even Sam's Club. So what do we get to do? We get to play the game we get to win. So again, stop bringing the pain home. Become a certified CFO and understand how to basically reprogram your brain to main or status. We look behind the curtain. We dissect it more. This time, we're going to pay attention 100%. We're going to not bring the pain home again. We stay safe. We stay strong. We do our best. Jesus does the rest. Amen to that, too. So at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like me to be your private coach, from now on, for three months, six months to a year, you let me know. We will get you to a million. We'll get you residual income up to 100000 a month. All we are is a phone call away. My name is Ray Reynolds. I am the godfather of credit. It's 800-254-9506. The ultimate goal is going to be up to you to follow through. There's no more excuses. At the end of the day, we can actually build an American dream. And that's all we got to do based on the structure of that today. So understand, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do my best. God's going to do the rest. Amen to that, too. And I never forget at the end of the day, God loves us all.